Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I got myself these bad boys over here. Let's find out if they're really good. So the reason I decided to try these risers is because I have old ones in the my 8000s rig and uh, the ash rate is going all over the place between 205 and the best I could get was 210 and uh, you can see here it's just going mental it's not stable at all so we're gonna see how the new risers perform they have uh, 10 capacitors so you got six plus four here and uh, electronic chips they claim for more efficient mining not sure about that uh, leads for working state this will be good if they actually say if the card is working or not. I mean, it just says the riser is on. If the riser is broken, it'll still be on, so it's kind of pointless. And of course, you have the Christmas tree, um, which is uh, another pointless feature. I mean, if you like a lot of LEDs, fair enough, but they won't do anything at all for uh, your mining. Plus, even though LEDs are very efficient, they still use energy. So, kind of pointless. And also a metal plate, um, which they claim will be uh, more better connectivity. One thing I like is the gold plating. And, uh, and also this. I like this because when you press the card in, this will lock in and you don't have to be try to push it in. The gold plating thing is pretty good. Also gold plated on the thing that goes on the motherboard. But the problem I got with these cards is the USB cable supplied is not gold plated. And I can tell you, if you use both together, it's pointless because uh, the connection will be as good as this one. And yes, you can claim I did open one and is plated inside, but you need both. And before you say, oh, maybe it doesn't need, then why would they gold plated this on the outside? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense so yeah the cables they come with uh, are pointless not to mention the fact that uh, for whatever reason the risers still come with this crap SATA cable so what come on it's just look this is what you do with the SATA cables they come with, with it <laughs> these cables uh, yeah maybe you can use it luckily though I do have these nice cables. I've been using all of my rigs and they're pretty good. And this one is a uh, one, met one meter long, which is pretty awesome as well. I will leave the, um, the link on the um, description for you guys to try. So I'm gonna dismantle my rig and um, I'm gonna plug these bad boys in. <laughs> yes, and I'm gonna build myself a nice Christmas tree and then we're gonna check if they really worth the price and uh, We'll see the stability Okay, I'm gonna start dismantle these things, but first I want to show you this little vacuum cleaner I found on Amazon It's actually quite powerful and what I like about it is You have a set of brushes on front Right, you can vacuum, but also this where you can blow out the air. So I'm going to show you here how powerful this little thing is. Pay attention. Quickly clean. Oh, let me show you. Let's do another one. I really like this vacuum cleaner. Now, let me continue to disassemble this. Ok, 
Okay, you can see the difference on the, the color of the risers. These are gold plated, these are not, and they're light blue. So I'm going to change this to the new ones. With everything in place, let's light this bed, boys. Okay, this is how the rises look like without the cards, of course. Now I'm gonna put the cards. Because my rig is facing the wall, uh, I can't see the, the LEDs moving very well. Uh, you can see uh, at night uh, they light up the place. So the rig is on. I did have a little problem with one of the risers, not the riser itself, but the part that goes into the motherboard. But in my experience, uh, when you buy risers, always buy extra. <laughs> so there's bound to be one wrong. So um, uh, not big difference on this one. I will play around and uh, let them run for uh, a few hours before uh, making a final conclusion. Okay, we are back now and um, this rig has been running now for almost 9 hours, you can see through the amount of shares and I did struggle a little bit to stabilize but uh, I managed to get everyone at 41 and uh, the crazy thing with this rig is sometimes some cars go up to 42, even 43 and then they drop back so it's also it's always been a little bit unstable so the best I can get stable is 208 but I know I can get it to 210 but it takes some reboots until I get that it's very strange I don't know uh, you can see the ash rate on overall is alright but if you take away this you can see how it goes a little bit mental as well so uh, as long as this rig is stable and is mining I'm happy with it but the big question is are they worth it? Are they worth the price you pay for for this little extra LED? No, they are not. Um, at the end, you'll be better off with the good old uh, 009S. And uh, if it's your cup of tea, use the gold version. They provide LEDs and they work just fine for a much cheaper price. It is not worth it, the new so-called version. 11. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below. I'll try to answer as fast as possible. And uh, thank you for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Come on.